This is PE. Good day, students. It's me again, Sir Nelson, and today I am going to discuss the warm up, stretching, and cool down. In order to avoid injuries and to prepare the muscles and joints for physical activity, a proper warm-up and stretching routine must be performed prior to exercise. A cool-down routine is done after the session. It is important to note that to warm-up means to literally warm the body up with the light exercises and movement. Students, Always remember that a warm-up is not the same as stretching. Based on research, it is good practice to warm up first to increase blood flow to the muscles, increase sensitivity to nerve receptors, and increase the rate of delivery of oxygen among other effects. And now, let's start to talk about the types of warm-up. There are three types of warm-up. Passive warm-up, general warm-up, and a specific warm-up. Let's start to talk about the passive warm-up. A passive warm-up is when one elevates by the temperature through the use of heat packs or hot showers. For the school setup, this is quiet and practical. The general warm up involves light movement of major muscle group. With not general warm up, there occurs an increase in heart rate, deep joint fluids, blood flow, and perspiration. The specific warm-up mimics actual moves of the sport or activity that will be engaged in very light levels of intensity. Specific warm-up also helps the exerciser prepare mentally as the warm-up movements serve as practice for the actual techniques of moves to be performed. And now, let's proceed to the stretching routine. The stretching is performed in order to maintain or increase flexibility. There are three types of stretching. First, we have the ballistic, static, and dynamic stretching. And now, let's talk about ballistic stretching. Ballistic stretching makes use of rapid and jerky movement. It has been discovered that ballistic practice is wrong and that this type of stretching is almost phased out.
static stretching or the stretch and hold. It increases the range of motion as well as relaxes the muscles. This type of stretching is performed best as cool down stretch. Dynamic stretching. Dynamic stretching is similar to ballistic stretching, but the movement is not jerky and uncontrolled. Dynamic stretching avoids bouncing and sometimes include movements which are sport specific. Dynamic stretching is best for starting an exercise program after warm up. As a general rule, stretches are performed in the order from head to toe. And lastly, let's talk about cool down. Cool down is important for many reasons, such as it allows the body to gradually return to its resting or the normal state. It cools your body temperature, it prevents fainting or dizziness. It reduces muscle soreness and stiffness and prevents venous pooling of blood. A cooldown is one of the important elements of an exercise. The origin of armies can be traced back to the native fighting techniques during conflicts among the various pre-Hispanic Filipino tribes or kingdoms, though the current form has a Spanish influence from old fencing which originated in Spain in the 15th century, it was developed by the indigenous populations of the Philippines who use an assorted range of weapons for combat and self-defense. 
Just over a century later, in 2009, the government of the Philippines declared Arnis to be the martial art and national sport of the Philippines. Remy Amador Presses Remy Presses began his study of Arnis techniques at age of six. He learned from his father, Jose Presas, in the small fishing village of Hinigaran, Negros Occidental, in the Philippines. So it is in Hinigaran, Arnis, was born. Nineteen eighty-six. The two major types of Arnis practice as the sports are the system followed by W E K E F or the World Eskrema Kali Artist Federation, which was established in 1989 and is recognized internationally, and the system followed by Arnis Philippines or the ARPI, established in 1986, which was used prominently during the 2005 Southeast Asian. The Spanish business people who followed Ferdinand Magellan during the mid-1500s introduced their espada y daga styles and the natives were able to adapt quickly to this new martial arts system. Arnis incorporates three methods which are espada y daga, sword and dagger, solo baston, single stick, and sinuwali to weave which uses two sticks. Arnis, like all forms of martial arts, teaches self-defense as well as attack techniques. Like other martial arts, Arnis can be used to practice and make us learn self-control and discipline. It also gives us ability to think fast and make our bodies stronger as we will move a lot. Modern Arnis is a system of Filipino fighting arts founded by Remy Presses as a self-defense system. His goal was to create an injury-free training method as well as an effective self-defense system in order to preserve the older Arnis systems. Arnis, also known as Eskrema, Kali, Garot, and other names in various regional languages such as Pananandata in Tagalog, Pagkali Kali Inebanag, Kabaraon, and Kaliruman Pangasinan, Kaliradman in Bisaya, and Dija in Ilocano, is an indigenous Filipino martial art and sport characterized by the use of swinging and twirling. Kali became so popular during the early days that it was known as the sport of kings and of the members of the royal blood. Kali was a standard fighting technique in hand-to-hand -hand combat to the Filipinos when they revolted against Spain. Modern Arnis is a system of Filipino fighting arts founded by Remy Presas as a self-defense system. His goal was to create an injury-free training method as well as an effective self-defense in order to preserve the older Arnis. Arnis is the national martial arts sport of the Philippines. It is also known by the name Eskrema and Kali. This sport gives emphasis to weapon-based fighting. This is often done using bladed weapons such as knives, sticks, and other improvised weapons. Competitive Arnis generally takes one of two forms the performance-based annual, 
modal and combative Laban. Annual competitions are judged on the basis of the overall choreography of the performances, including the gracefulness, strength, and force employed. Arnis was known as a term used for this FMA in the northern parts of the Philippines. Kali is a Filipino term which was commonly known in the southern part of the Philippines and a common phrase used among Filipino martial arts for the most part. These are all the same martial arts. Arnis, also called Kali and Iskrema, is a traditional martial art that uses sticks, bladed weapons, knives, and improvised weapons when fighting. It is also includes hand-to-hand -hand combat, grappling, joint blocks, and weapon disarming techniques. Arnis has no accuracy. To actually be effective in combat, you need to strike the body's vital points. They don't teach this Arnis because science was too advanced at the time it was made. You'd be surprised how much an attacker can get stabbed and slashed without going down. Anywhere, we can do our needs. No need for a court or a gym. You can even do it outside in your own backyard and compared to other combat sports. Arnis is indeed an art of self-defense and there are many tricks to learn how to counter an assault. Values of Arnis consist of discipline, strength, agility, accuracy, and coordination. Arnis requires one to be quick and accurate to be the most effective. The coordination of the individual allows them to make decisions without thinking making it instinctual. Arnis is an important part of the Filipino identity. It reflects the Filipino people's history, philosophy, and culture. Above all, Arnis was developed by the indigenous Filipino people who used an assorted range of weaponry for combats. Martial art is well known in the Philippines, but the Arnis is a national symbol of martial arts. It emphasizes weapon based fighting with sticks, knives, and other weapons with blades. This shows that fighting does not need any trigger-based weapons, rather use the skills with a simple weapon. Known for their heavy use of weaponry, the Philippines form their own fighting styles and techniques practiced throughout the world for various combat training. Fighting is such an essential part of the culture that in 2009, the Republican Act 9850 declared Arnis the national sport in martial art of the Philippines. Arnis was declared as the Philippine national martial art in sport in December 11, 2009, through Republic Act 9850 signed by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. Victory is not a stamp of invulnerability, but rather a reason for magnanimity. Besides, these cardinal principles, there are other principles in our niece that the students must remember. These are character, sincerity, discipline, self-control, etiquette, and students' loyalty to his tutor. No pushing or striking with any part of your body. No foot sweeps or throws, thrusting or butt strikes, two-handed strikes. No strikes or kicks below the waistline, 
or direct strikes to the back, no kicks below the waist or above the neck. Like American Kenpo, World Modern Arnis has its own etiquette rules. A very practical rule is never pick up another person's stick or weapon. The reason is simple, if you pick up your opponent's stick in a fight, he may take advantage of you and attack while you are being courteous. The tournament format will all the discretion in tournament officials. In adult divisions, we will try as much as possible to form pairs that are within 8% of each other by weight. Directors will combine divisions where competitors are stars. In those cases, the directors are authorized to adjust rules for fairness without comprising the primary objective to showcase martial arts skill and reward those that are better able to use their weapon. Fighters will be evaluated based on accumulation of points on all matches combined. Gold, silver, and bronze medals will be awarded in each division to fighters accumulating the highest scores. If two fighters accumulate equal score, the following will apply. First, if the pair previously fought presidents, will be given to the fighter who achieved the higher point total during their match. If the pair previously fought to a tie or never fought, the tiebreaker will be decided by best of three, weapon only point fight. Judges will only count headshots. Rules of engagement. Opponents will begin and end all matches with a salute or a bow to each other and the judges. Referee will position fighters beyond larger range at the start of every round. Only attacks with a stick and feet are allowed. Heat, slashes, and vitex are all legal. Bonuts, pokes, and stub are illegal. Target areas are front and sides of the body, arms and hands, top front and sides of the helmet, kicks are allowed below the neck and above the waist only. In single stick competition, it is not legal to block a stick with your free hand. However, arm stopping at quarter range or arm checking is allowed. Fighters are required to exhibit a realistic defense, movement, parrying, intelligent blocking. No takedowns, no grappling, wrestling, or hooking. No pushing or striking with any part of your body. No foot sweeps or throw, thrusting or butt strikes, two-handed strikes. No strikes or kicks below the waistline or direct strikes to the back. No kicks below the waist or above the neck. No knee strikes or elbow strikes. Checks may not be used to create distance but may not be directed to the face. Checks are allowed to below the neck and above the waist. Free hand or two hand on a weapon. Trapping and parrying are allowed. Locking and holding are not. An instantious Hold and hit with immediate release is allowed. In the event in action or in effective action in the clinch, referee will call time and break clinch. These arms must be immediate or have an immediate release. One to two rule applies. Joints may not be locked or twisted for a disarm. You may use the ring to control the action. You may not use it to avoid action. No signal surrender or stop action for an injury, equipment failure, and etc. Raise both hands and back up. Do not turn away. Fighter is required to have at least one corner person with a maximum of two. Coaching may only be done during the break in action. 
corner men are not to communicate with their fighter while action is in progress. Do not remove any equipment until the end of the match. Helmet may be removed between rounds. All matches scored by three judges on the 10 point must systems prior to the deductions. Deductions will be issued by referee only. Judges may issue bonus points for exemplary technique. Referee will identify rule, infractions, issue warnings, and mandatory point deductions. Scoring is based on quantity of strikes, effectiveness of striking, and ring generalship. In single stick competition, this arm shall be scored as part of the match as mandatory point deduction. Three disarms will result a tico. The three disarm rule may be waived at the tournament director's discretion. In double stick competition, a fighter will not be deducted if disarmed. The fighter will continue to fight with one weapon until the end of the round. A fighter who loses both weapons will automatically lose the match. All participants are expected to exhibit professional behavior, excessive foul language, and unsportsmanlike conduct will not be tolerated by any fighters, coaches, or spectators. Fighters and coaches will not discuss fights with the judges or referees while tournament is in progress. All participants must make provisions for the required weapons and equipment prior to the start of all matches. Fighters will submit the weapon and equipment will be inspected by referee and judges. The required equipment is as follows. WEKAF armor or WECAF, which are headgear, armored gown, protective full finger gloves or WEKEF or WECAF stick fighting gloves, elbow pads, forearm pads, knee pads, protective cup, and shoes are mandatory, t-shirts, pants, or shorts, and rattan sticks. Each bout is three rounds. Each round is one minute with 30 seconds rest in between each round. A competitor winning the first two rounds wins the bout without going into the third round. Okay, there are two types of grip. The first one is you hold your stick like this one. The purpose of this is to make the stick higher, enable for you to easy to reach your opponent. Okay, the second type of grip is you hold your stick like this one, at least two inches from the back. Now, the purpose of this is to make the gripping tighter on your stick. Okay, the 12 basic strike. The first strike is on the temple, left temple, right shoulders, left shoulders, strike to the stomach, right chest, left chest, and then right leg, left leg. Next is on the eyes, another is on the eyes, and the last is on the crown or the temple. Okay, let's do this. You got to go! Oh. 
Okay, this is the 12 basic blocks of our list. Okay, we got one. Four. Ready for first block. 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 Stop. Just. Just. Ready. Ready. I. Okay, we got it.